what is going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today to unpack the latest blog post patch notes uh for today's update so i mean as you guys can see from the screenshot here uh really great stuff we get to see the full uh secret defenders but as well two new added characters that we've previously speculated as well uh being mockingbird and as well as uh Ronin in here so as you can see um there's not really a lot of information on these two new characters but we saw with last week's post on black cat photon ghost rider uh, robbie riaz and as well as miss marvel hard light having said that let's unpack in terms of what the updates are and uh, things to look forward to in the coming weeks so having said that uh we know that the secret defenders is going to be this new arena specialist team but as well having versatility in uh alliance war this new avengers team is actually going to be what's featuring um ronin and mockingbird as well well as uh, joining actually the reworked versions of the thing and as well as agent colson so they're gonna be getting some love uh it's always great to see that um those buffs kind of getting you know up to speed in terms of where their stats are but as well giving them versatility again um however what's more interesting guys is the you know the last sentence here is there an elusive fifth member to be waiting in the shadows so that could be giving us a heads up of it, it could be some sort of uh hero that or villain that's based in the shadows in terms of what they can do uh you know i'll, I'll leave that for you guys to speculate but let me know in the comments below who you think that would be but there's definitely a lot of different characters that can come to mind for sure um having said that we also expected this, this as well right like we know that dr strange captain marvel jessica jones Nico Minoru and Spire Woman are respectively getting stat improvements and upgrades. Uh, so we saw that with the reworks in A4. So it uh, really does make sense now that they're going to be once again updated to better reflect the meta. But I think they're getting some uh, additional updates in respect to war too. We've got new costumes here. We got Sylvie's Loki S2 and as well as uh, Loki's Loki S2. So um, we'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, we know that the Black Hat Legendary is following uh, Nova's trial. So uh, I think, uh, you know, it's going to be hopefully sometime in August. That'll be really cool cool uh, we know that nova's coming out pretty sooner for the second time so i'll definitely keep you guys up to date on that progression i haven't made videos on my unlock before so that was when i was on vacation but i do plan on making that if you guys are interested in terms of unlocking for the first time as well as some of the teams and synergies i will be planning on using so TVA agent. So if you recall from last week's blog post, this is essentially the month long uh, event to essentially unlock Sylvie. We're going to be taking a look at that as well as the milestones that are upcoming. They always like to give us a sneak peek in terms of what to expect, but we'll likely get more details and clarification on this upcoming week blog post. But there's already an event that's being prepared as of tomorrow. And I believe it's going to be in the way of spending power cores as well as accumulating uh, orbs for that featured uh, specific milestone. We got... Uh, it, uh, it's a limited time actually trade event for Miss Marvel Hardlight. So it, it's going to be an event campaign. Generally, these are some of the best events in the game for free-to-play players to unlock shards. Uh, and it looks like the trade is going to be called Energize. So be on the lookout for that. I do believe we can already go into our roster and, and start filtering to see what those characters would be. I will likely make a video in the future here shortly uh, just in regards to breaking down which of those character team synergies are best going to be uh, having success there. New features updates and more guys so lots and lots of stuff that we've uh, noted here as well as updates but i think the big one for alliance uh, captains as well as the leaders is the raid auto launcher so this has been something that's been speculated for quite some time but essentially allowing the leadership team now to be able to utilize a schedule for raids to launch automatically uh you need to make sure obviously there's enough credits but it's this is great hand in hand in terms of organizing and that way uh, someone doesn't manually have to go into the game to actually launch it we also have this AI being Jarvis here. Um, need help in deciding which team to use or how to upgrade a character? You can now get suggestions actually in regards to ISO 8, uh, T4, as well as uh, which teams to use in certain missions. I, I think this is a huge addition for those free to play because uh, well, given how expansive the game is in terms of the roster and the characters uh, and the multitude of different synergies available, uh, having an AI or some sort of recommendation advice is something that's been much needed. And we see a lot of repetitive questions on the Reddit community, Facebook, as well as Discord, and it's great that we finally have an in-game resource. So absolutely huge. I think this is going to be great for those starting out in the in the beginning categories, but as well transitioning from mid-game to end-game as well. A war replay button update. So uh, war replay is no longer available for enemy battles. Um, I, to be honest, I didn't get a chance to use it too often as our alliance isn't crazily invested in war. But I think I did find the value of that to learn. You know, it was productive and, and cool to see in terms of you know the synergies and combinations of how to you know break down certain teams. So let me know what you guys think. If that's a good or bad update, I, I personally wouldn't have minded the additional information. But I, I get it. Like they're probably you know trying to encourage more theory crafting and figuring out some really cool. Teams 
teams that no other um, you know teams and enemies can actually overcome and that, that's part of the fun as well so i definitely get that we got a fan voting on the web so make sure you guys check out the website uh voting for certain characters this is going to allow us to be able to you know get a chance to get these characters having that productive uh input and contribution from the players as well motorola g play 2021 so um you know i don't really know too much about this phone but it sounds like they're going to be supporting this device so that's huge anytime there's an opportunity for that to be open to a wider audience i definitely appreciate that and you know, I'm all for the growth of the game and making sure that, you know, wider and more expansive audience is going to be allowed to play the game, right? We got some bug fixes here. So, uh, so just some patch notes here. Profanity filters been restored. Get some healing on characters that remain um, possible in select raids. Cosmic Crucible glitches here and there. And then it's selective glitches and bugs that have been actually now uh, fixed up here. So I know Spider Weaver has had that huge 100% accuracy issue for quite some time. Uh, they've added some text and so forth for... Uh, Red Hulk, Dormammu, Passive. So, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys sift through that because there's a lot of information in terms of what to expect. But, I mean, um, I think uh, it's great that they're always making these little changes here and there. Uh, what was really cool to see was uh, Dr. Octopus actually getting a revision on his Passive, now granting two speed up on turn of charge. So, uh, I like the fact of uh, of them actually reworking some older characters, even when, when there wasn't an intention to do so. But we also know with Sinister Six, they're one of the required teams uh, if you want to utilize them as an option, if you don't have no uh, for upcoming Black Cats Legendary. So, I mean, that's really good to see just uh, get that review there. There was a big one here with Union Jack as well, uh, where him and uh, Bucky Barnes are using charges as representation of their ammo, and then they won't fire, right? But it looks like uh, Bucky was working intended, but Union Jack inten unintentionally was. So, they got that fixed up. We got Heimdall's passive incre increased accuracy is now given to all Asgardians. Great to see uh, for that expansive Asgardian roster now that we've got Val added as well. And, as, and in addition to that, we can't forget, you know, Apocalypse, the big baddie here. Uh, the first enemy will always have a negative focus applied, uh, which wasn't always occurring. So it's great to see that they revisited some of these bugs here and there and patched them up. Having said that, guys, uh, you know, we've already seen this, but this is the raw stat breakdowns in terms of the characters that have received buffs and stat um, modifications. So Captain Marvel got revisions with, as well as her kit. Uh, so Jessica Jones, again, this is going to be applying to the A-Force mainly. Nico Monoru, you know, she's a newer character, but, you know, it's uh, it's kind of crazy that they've already needed so many buffs along the way. Spire Woman, newer as well. Um, and that pretty much, of that's that's it for the patcher, guys. Um, all the different notes here in terms of what we're expecting. But, um, you know, these are great updates to have to be had for sure. I think the raid all launcher is a really, really big one. Uh, and as well, uh, I'm excited always for new characters uh, being in the, in the fold here. And we're looking forward to, obviously, Miss Marvel and her event upcoming. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, good or bad update. But I think overall, this was pretty solid in terms of the characters and reworks that have come about. Thank you as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.